G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. I've been sorting out my paints um, and putting in. Um, oh, that's a bad example. Oh, you can't hear it. Oh, there we go. Putting little uh, uh, ball bearings inside all my paint pots so to you know agitate them up. It's been something I've wanted to do for ages, and I was watching um, um, Luke from uh, Luke's Affordable Paint Service. Um, and you know, he was adding dropper, uh, these ball bearings to his dropper bottles. Um, and it's a great way to, you know, really mix up your paint really well. But sitting there, a lot of my paints haven't been used for ages and sitting there shaking and shaking and shaking, even though that ball bearing is moving around, you know, it's not really mixing the paint as well as it could be. So he uses a little paint shaker that he bought. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of them around. The best ones that I've seen are the ones that they use in science labs, the Vortex um, shakers. It's, it's, it kind of is an off-centered wheel, essentially, um, that sort of uh, creates a vortex action inside the bottle as it, as it moves around. I want to try and build one of those, but in the meantime, I've just used my uh, jigsaw. I had a spare blade lying around. Let's have a closer look at this. It's simple, it works well, and it will do me until I can uh, uh, build myself a more fancy Vortex mixer. It's pretty simple sort of stuff. You know, all I've done is taken a little medicine bottle. This was a little vitamin D uh, bottle. I used some five minute epoxy to glue it to the blade. Um, this is not entirely safe, and I'll explain why in just a second. But inside this bottle, it's got a screw cap. These dropper bottles fit perfectly inside here put the cap back on and uh, you know the cap holds the bottle in there nice and tight then it's just a matter of you know switching it on and shaking now that's very slow you'll see what happens if I hold it this way if I get fast you can see it starts to wiggle around and, and, and move that will eventually snap this blade and this is going to go flying off somewhere you could alleviate that to some extent by putting a second bottle on this side and doing two bottles at the same time so it's, it's balanced. Um, uh, or figuring out some way of having your bottle aligned with the center of the blade rather than offset. Because like I said, when you're shaking it fast, it, you know, this is flicking back and forth, which is not entirely safe. That's not good. I mean, you might be getting good action in there, but you know, that's not good for the blade. This is gonna snap. And you know, there's still a blade on here. If it snaps here and catches you in the face, oh, that'd be terrible news. So um, there we go. Very quick and simple little thing right now for me to start mixing up my paints. Fun little project. I'm looking forward to building that Vortex mixer. That will be much, much better and a lot, a lot more safe. Uh, um, there we go. Thanks for tuning in. I have been uploading some videos to Knights of Dice recently, um, uh, painting tutorials on how we paint our MDF model kits. Um, and I'll be putting up a lot more content up there. Um, progressively as you know time moves forward and hopefully every now and then like this one little videos on my channel I'll catch you next time see ya